Okay. Sometimes there'll be a scenario where you'll want to have a uh, have your, your your programmer not have access to your engineered part, so that they so that uh, it when when you make changes to it or they don't when they make changes to it it doesn't propagate back to your part and mess up your design. Here's a, here's the process of how you would do it. You have your part here. It's called engineer part. I'm going to go to start a brand new model here in SolidWorks part file and go to my insert pull down menu and go to insert part and it'll let me browse to my uh, to the the part I can use. I'll just go ahead and insert this as a typical part and now I have a part file I can apply my CamWorks toolpaths to do my feature recognition and my and my tool paths. On this particular model I have some slot features I'm going to throw in with some manual well, these are slot features. So I can go ahead and uh, generate my operations plan, generate my tool paths, and I'll just uh, real quickly so I have I have the tool path here now let's say there's a design change the engineer comes back and makes some change so I go back to my engineer part and let's say I I modify this slot to be what an inch and a half so it's a little bit bigger open up the SOLIDWORKS part and it does it it'll recognize that there's there's something to change now all I have to do is update the cam model which is done from uh, switching tabs and letting the rebuild feature work and now we can see that it, it updates your tool path.